recognizes uh, Mr. Gosar for five minutes. The CEF C of China Energy. Who is Chairman Yi? Chairman Yi and CEFC reportedly had connections to the Chinese military. Though it was in theory a private company, CEFC has layers of Communist Party committees, which are usually staples of state owned enterprises. This CCP affiliated entity was closely connected with China's Belt and Road Initiative, and there's evidence Joe Biden was in business with it. Joe Biden was engaged so closely with Chairman Yi and CEFC that he planned to share office space in Washington, D.C. with him. Joe Biden was actually considered a partner. Let's, let's break down the evidence. The email I have on display on show on, shows on September 21st, 2017, yes, we'll talk about that in a minute, Hunter Biden emailed the general manager, House of Sweden, a building in Washington, D.C., to request that keys be made available for office mates Joe Biden, Jill Biden, Jim Biden, Gong Wen Dong, Chairman Yi, CFC emissary. Not only did Joe Biden share office space with the Chinese Communist affiliated CFC leadership, his son, Hunter Biden, asked that the signage for the venture be listed as, quote, the Biden Foundation Hudson West, CEFC US. In case it isn't clear that Joe Biden was a, wasn't a partner in these business dealings with CCP affiliated entity with a key to shared office space, the email I now have on display shows that Hunter Biden specifically referenced Joe Biden as his partner in this venture. Hunter even shared the personal phone numbers for Joe Biden, to whom Hunter Biden refers to as his partner, along with Gong Wen Dong, Chairman Yi's emissary, and Jim Biden. The management was told to call Joe Biden if they chose. CEFC Chairman Yi additionally gifted Hunter Biden a diamond worth $80,000 during their business relationship. Chairman Yi was detained in 2018 by Chinese authorities. It was initially reported by Chinese media that his detention in China was ordered directly by Chinese President Xi Jinping. Mr. Cha Chairman, I ask you now to consent at the end of the record this email dated September 21st, 2017, showing Joe Biden's involvement sharing of office space with the family CCP link business partner, Chairman Yi Ying Ming. Without objection to order. Now let me ask you a question. Who do you think I'm referring to? Who has, uh, has a family of high-ranking government officials receiving tons of money, cars, and luxury items from a foreign government? You might have said Senator Menendez. And you would be right. But Hunter Biden would also, Hunter Biden also received those same things. Mr. Turley, in your experience, is it concerning that a public official such as Joe Biden is involved with the CEFC, China Energy, a company with ties to CCP and, and Chairman Yi, who was later detained by China for fraud? Well, it's certainly a concern that some of these individuals have been either uh, accused of or has been convicted uh, of fraud, including one by the United States government. Uh, the question is whether that conduct uh, extended to the vice president and, or the president today and whether that's part of a continuum of conduct. Mr. Dudinsky, when you see a pattern of problems, particularly in corruption, doesn't that pattern usually continue? It's a cover, kind of cover up. Do you agree with that statement? I do. We call it pattern evidence, and, that, and that's what we look for when we're doing investigations to see what's continuing in that regard. So, if you were started prior as a vice president, we would continue through this as, as a private citizen. You'd see it also in, in, as a president. So, those would be aspects that you would follow through, right? Abs absolutely. Now, for all three of you, real quick, the, the other side has said over and over again you've given no information. But isn't it true that we should be looking to you for establishment? I'm not an attorney, neither are a bunch of these folks here. Shouldn't we be utilizing your expertise to go get those inf that information to make sure it's valid? John, Mr. Turley, would you agree with that? I agree. My, my testimony tried to lay out the historical baseline for an inquiry. This is just the beginning of that formal inquiry. Ms. O'Connor? My testimony was to aid in understanding what the whistleblowers had brought forward. Mr. Dudinsky. And my testimony was centered around conducting an unbiased investigation and getting to the truth. <laughs> See, uh, unbelievable. I, I think this is just so perfectly set up. We wanted the very basis of this, and we wanted a slow, methodical, make sure it is done appropriately. You know, it just, it, it just overwhelms me when we start to see the, the rhetoric that comes out of that aside, and especially the, the show that we just saw. You know, that, that's, that belongs on Saturday Night Live. Uh, Mr. Pre Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. Mr.